We are dealing with one of the worst natural disasters in our nation's history. Five years after Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, people in the street, why is this happening in New Orleans, Louisiana? A disaster that killed nearly 1,500 people in Louisiana. I've seen a lot of dead bodies and I saved a few people, you know, out the houses. And displaced more than half of the city's 455,000 residents. We're talking about people who got nowhere to go with no resources. New Orleans has made a surprising recovery, but analysis by the Greater New Orleans Community Data Center finds the city has not fully returned to its pre-Katrina status. The population now stands at nearly 355,000. That's almost 80% of pre-storm levels. 80% of the city flooded when the levees failed. In March 2007, there were more than 98,000 unoccupied homes and businesses. By June of this year, that number had dropped to just over 64,000. New Orleans has suffered fewer job losses than much of the country. From July of 2008 to July of this year, just 0.8% of jobs were lost, compared to a full 5% nationwide. Average wages rose 14% from 2004 to 2008. But struggles remain. The rate of violent crime in New Orleans is twice the national average. Post-Katrina New Orleans is an expensive place to live. The majority of renters pay more than a third of their paychecks for housing. While conditions in New Orleans have improved in the five years since Katrina, a national recession and the aftermath of the Gulf oil spill are putting new strains in the Big Easy. The mayor says the city has certainly changed. But the culture of New Orleans is very much like it was before. The richness of the culture, its authenticity, the food, you know, the real sense of family, the sense of purpose. New Orleans was dealt a strong blow by Katrina. But the city and its people proved it wasn't a fatal one. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.